Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I am here, I'm not in my regular location. If you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter, then you know I am down in beautiful, wretched ass Miami, Florida, honey, okay? So I got down here um, earlier today and I am having a ball. It is beautiful out here. I went from being in 20 degree weather where it was snow and I had my little fur coat on to coming down here to the fun and sun, okay? So everybody named Mama has been DMing me emailing me, tweeting me. All you guys want me to talk about the whole T.I. Indonesia situation. And when I tell you I've been following up with everything, I've been sipping slow, you know what I'm saying, taking notes, I'm gonna do an entire breakdown for y'all cause y'all know that's what I do here on this channel, okay? Go ahead and cue the Mariah Carey breakdown song cause we ain't heard that shit in a while, okay? Go ahead and enjoy this. Break, break down. Steadily breaking me on down. Okay, y'all, so y'all know what that means. So let me go ahead first and shout out Tiny Biggs. She was the first person, as soon as this interview hit the net, to send me the information on Instagram. So I appreciate it, sis. So this entire situation is not only re ridiculous, honey, but it's also disgusting, okay? So what's going down is this. Basically, T.I. went on to a podcast called Girls Like Us, and it's hosted by Nadia Moham and Nazim Mandy. She's also married to R&B singer Miguel, okay? So basically, they had T.I. on there, and T.I. decided to just volunteer information about his 18-year-old daughter, Deja Harris, who is a beautiful girl. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen her involved in any ratchetness, any controversy, but they were talking about, you know, how do you feel about Deja now that she's 18? And he basically said that she's a virgin, and that he goes with her to her gynecologist appointment to make sure that her hymen is still in check. When I heard that, I'm like, what in the fucking 1900s, turn of the century type bullshit is this? Is T.I. serious right now? This interview was so cringeworthy. And the fact that two women sat there kikiing like the shit was funny, it just goes to show you what I always say. When people get around celebrities, they lose all common sense. If that was Tyrone, you know what I'm saying, from the block, talking about checking his daughter's hymen, trust me, they would have shut down that conversation. He'd have been all types of weirdos. They would have went out the way to have the daughters back, but because it's T.I., all they did was giggle and laugh and try to make a joke of the situation, and I didn't find anything funny. So they've since deleted the podcast, but you know you can't delete shit on social media, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a clip of what T.I. said to them during that interview. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So have you had the sex talk with your daughters? Have I? We go. <laughs> Which, by the way, your daughters are so beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. So, um, so much. I'm sure I mean, you have her hands full. And like yeah, the other one's absolutely. 18, so she definitely knows oh, about sex. Oh, and this is the thing. Wait, Deja, right? She's 18, yes, right? Deja's yes, Deja's 18. Just graduated high school now, and she's uh, attending her first year of, of college, Ooh. figuring it out for herself. Uh, and yes, not only have we had the conversation. <laughs> oh. We have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you okay? <laughs> I'm done with you right now. So you know, you know uh, do you go with her? She's a prisoner. Yes, I, yes, I go with her. <laughs> you go with her. Somebody check on Deja. I go with her. <laughs> she is a prisoner. <laughs> so let me tell you, right? So, so this is one time oh, we no. go. I think this might have been after her 16th birthday, and this is what we do. Like, you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And, we go and check know, her hymen after. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after the party, <laughs> she's enjoying her gifts. <laughs> I put a sticky note on the dope. Gano. No. <laughs> Tomorrow, 930. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and <laughs> so, so look, right? So we'll go, you know what I mean? We'll go and and uh, we'll sit down, we'll sit down, and then the doctor will come and talk. And, you know, the doctor is maintaining a high level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you know, sir, I have to, you know, in order for me to share information, I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. <laughs> they want you to oh, sign, sign this. this right now. I need this, to know so. if your hymen's still there. So we can... Uh, <laughs> Share information. Do you have is anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. You are the worst. And so, 
<laughs> so then, right? <laughs> then they come and say, "Okay, uh, well, I just want, I just want you to know that there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken, right? Like bike riding, uh-huh. really, athletics, horseback riding. That's aggressive. Um, <laughs> That is aggressive and, writing. You know, just right. other other forms of, of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? Can no. Oh, so, right. so, there you so go. I say, You're like, sorry, I doctor, say, look, that's I say, not look, a possibility. Doc. I say, look, doc. She's not. She don't ride no horses, she don't ride no bikes, she don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. And <laughs> give me back my results. Oh dear. Expeditiously. <laughs> Expeditiously. <laughs> But I will, you know, I will say as of her 18th birthday, her hymen is still in touch. Deja, you are an angel. I ain't got my damn cup, okay? So I'm sipping water. Honey, this whole situation's a hot damn mess. I'm convinced that T.I. just likes to hear his voice, okay? This conversation, that piece of dialogue was not needed. And then the fact that he forced his daughter to basically waive her HIPAA rights to allow her father to know what's going on with her body, to me, is disgusting. And the medical establishment can get in trouble for that, okay? So there's a lot of things wrong with the interview besides the obvious. So, of course, the two women got a lot of backlash because they sat there and laughed and kikied with T.I. Instead of letting him know that, you know what, this is not the 19 damn hundreds. Your daughter's 18, and if you actually instilled values in her like you claim that you did, then you shouldn't have to worry about her out here, you know what I'm saying, messing with this person, that person, and that person. So, I just think that his whole method is just crazy, but, of course, that's not what they did. So, after they faced a bunch of backlash, they decided to release this apology. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So the apology states, to everyone confused, angry, and hurt by the recent episode of Ladies Like Us, we want to start off by saying we sincerely apologize for our knee-jerk reaction to the uncomfortable topic. We were completely caught off guard, shocked, and looking back, we should have reacted much differently in the moment. The comments that were made, the reactions that followed, are not in any way a reflection of our personal views on the topic. We support and love women and feel that their bodies are theirs to do what they wish. There was absolutely no ill intent towards any party involved and feel deeply awful about the entire incident. We are not perfect. We take full accountability for our lack of action and are continuously learning along the way. We know an apology doesn't make this go away, but we welcome the discussion. That's what our podcast is about. Sincerely, Nazanin and Nadia. You know, like I said, of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. but common sense, especially when you're running a platform and you have a big social media following, people know you guys. You guys aren't just some random podcasters. You're supposed to not just be flirting and, and happy to be in the presence of a celebrity. You should also be listening to the words that are coming out their mouth, okay? Because as soon as he said that, my damn antennas went up like, wait, what? You think this is okay? You think this is normal? It's not okay and it's not normal. And what really bothers me with this situation Situation is once again the hypocrisy of T.I. Now Iggy Azalea called him out last week and basically said he was a misogynist. He's always talking down to women and a lot of y'all sat here and dismissed her because she's a white girl. A lot of y'all told her to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. I've been saying that the moves that he's making are not okay. From how he disrespected Candace Owens, you know what I'm saying, instead of having a mature dialogue with her, you know, he basically just shut her down, you know, went off on her in front of everybody, said she was just full of bullshit. So from that situation to how he's constantly bringing up Iggy's name and, you know, throwing her under the bus and trying to belittle her. And then on top of that, we all know how he treats poor Tiny, okay? And I love me some Tiny, that's my girl, but, you know, I feel like he does not have the same respect for her that she has for for him and then now we get to the situation with Deja what I find funny is this okay now I don't always watch Family Hustle I do watch sometimes Family Hustle and Friends but I remember there was an episode of Family Hustle where T.I.'s son who was 14 at the time because he's just now 15 King Harris basically admitted to the world in front of the cameras in front of his parents that he was having sex he was no longer a virgin did T.I. demand that his little wee-wee be chopped off or some mess like that? No. He was basically low-key proud. He wasn't upset. He basically put it off and said that Tiny would be more upset than he would. 
So I find it very funny that, you know, he's sitting here trying to check his daughter's hymen, but he's okay with his 14 year old engaging in grown activities like sex, as if 14 year olds can't get people pregnant, as if 14 year olds can't catch STDs. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, you having sex? That's what he said. <laughs> oh, King, that told on himself. You just broke your mama hard. You just went and gave them husbands your innocence. Mm, yeah, you see what he done did? I don't want any of my children to have sex before. It's time for them, but who's to say when it's time? However, I will definitely feel different about a boy than I will about a girl. And that's just the God's honest truth. I don't think there's any father out there who'll tell you any different. All right, so you guys just watch that clip and do you see his attitude towards his sons versus his attitude towards his daughter? I find that crazy and a lot of men are like this. When it comes to daughters, from the time the daughter is born, I'm gonna have a shotgun. No guy better ever fuck my child. My child's gonna be a virgin until she's 50 and gets married. Meanwhile, these same men who say stupid shit like that, nine times out of 10 don't have respect for women. They're cheating on their wives. They don't treat their wives and girlfriends in the same manner that they treat their daughters and their mothers. I always find that funny. Please show me the lyric that T.I. has ever put out concerning chastity, concerning being a virgin, concerning respecting yourself. That's never been in his music. So I'm confused that when it comes to his daughter, you know what I'm saying, he can put out music perpetuating sex and perpetuating drug dealing, but when it comes to his daughter, no one better look at her, nobody better ever touch her, but yet and still you have no problem smashing other people's hymens. You have no problem and you and you also don't have a problem with your 14 year old son smashing other people's daughter's hymens. Like, do you guys understand the hypocrisy in that? So you don't want your daughter to engage in anything sexual, but it's okay for your son to be out here sleeping with other girls around his age, maybe even older, who knows? So it's okay for him to wreck somebody else's child's hymen, but your daughter's is, is to be pure and untouched. To me, for him to say that publicly, it was almost like, I, it was just weird to me. You know what I'm saying? You have so many guys out here who fetishize virgins and who want to pay, you know, for somebody's virginity. It was just weird. It's almost like, are you trying to sell her to the highest bidder? That wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Deja's a good girl. You never see her, Zanique ever involved in any type of controversy, any type of mess. She's bloomed into a beautiful woman, you know what I'm saying? And now for him to just put her out there like that is just really embarrassing. And I can tell that she's embarrassed because she's responded to her father, not publicly, you know, going off on him or, you know, cussing him out on Instagram, but she's liking comments. And that's how you know her feelings are hurt because look at these comments that Deja's liking. I'm gonna go ahead and read them to you now. These are the comments that she liked. So somebody wrote, this is disgusting, possessive, and controlling. Who? Somebody also wrote, give me my results. First of all, MF, those are her results. Like, what the F? And then somebody wrote, this is beyond possessive. Deja liked all of those comments. So that tells me that that's a young girl who's not only hurt, but she's also been embarrassed by her father. At 18 years old, she's old enough to make her own decision be it if she wants to have sex, be it if she gets pregnant and wants to keep the child, that doesn't have anything to do with T.I. Now granted as parents, because I'm a mother, and I understand sometimes we do parent our sons differently than we do parent our daughters, but at some point in time, you have to be fair. You cannot be sitting here writing down on your 18-year-old daughter who's, who's technically an adult, but then allowing your 14-year-old son to just do what he wants to do to run around here wild and slinging peen to girls, okay? Not saying that he's sleeping with everybody he comes in contact with, but he's basically bragging that he's not a virgin at the age of 14, and there was no chastising of that. Not saying that he even should be chastised, but if you're gonna have that energy towards your daughter, I expect the same energy towards your son, and that energy wasn't there. That's what really bothers me, because that's not okay. If you've instilled certain values in your children and you've taught your daughters to respect themselves, then you don't have to worry about any and everybody coming in contact with her damn hymen, okay? Like the doctor told him, just because your hymen is intact or not intact does not constitute you being a virgin. You have some girls whose hymens break from, you know, riding horses, playing sports. Your hymen can break at any time. It just does not occur during sex. You know, that is just really silly that he would equate her having or not having a hymen to her being a virgin. 
And the sad part is that a lot of girls who are raised like that, they may not be having intercourse, but trust and believe some of them are having oral sex. Some of them are choosing to have anal sex because they're so scared of what their parents might say, what their parents might do to them. And they're not realizing they can catch STDs via oral sex. They can catch STDs via anal sex. They think it's safer because they're keeping their hymen and their virginity intact. And to me, if you're engaging in any type of sexual activity, you're sexually active. So unless he's going to also take it to a throat doctor to see if anybody's came in her throat, this is just unnecessary. It's not okay. You know, it's one thing to be a parent, but it's another thing to be a possessive and overbearing. And sometimes when you do that to your child, once they get a little bit of freedom, they go buck wild. And once they get to college, we've all seen it. The girl who was, you know, basically locked in the house all through high school, couldn't go nowhere, and now she's on a college campus. She's the wildest thought on campus because of how sheltered she's been, because she's never been able to just experience normalcy. At the end of the day, to me, T.I. is just a patty chatty ass dude. This is not about, you know, just checking to make sure that your child is okay. He is demanding that a doctor tell him that his child is still a virgin when there's no way to prove that. Okay, either you take her word for it or you just don't believe her. It's as simple as that. But her virginity is her business, especially at the age of 18. And I think the saddest part about this is the fact that her doctor's visits and the things that are going on inside their household should be confidential. And for him to blast this to millions of people is sad. This story has now gotten international. Even Amnesty International was going in on T.I., there's news stories now covering this. This has to be so embarrassing for this girl. This is the same man who hates for anybody to speak on his relationship with Tiny, to talk about his cheating and infidelities. He gets so mad about the blogs for doing that, but then you don't think to yourself that maybe I shouldn't be putting my daughter's personal private business out there for the world to see and consume. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this news clip and also show you guys what Amnesty International had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. He's in the headlines, not for his music, but for parenting. T.I. is fake, facing some backlash online after he told a podcast host he takes his daughter, who is now 18, to the gynecologist. That part isn't so much the problem. It's that he wants to make sure she's still a virgin. Let's talk about sex, baby. Salt and Pepper sang about it. Now rapper T.I. has us talking about it sex and what he does to make sure his daughter isn't doing it. So have you had the sex talk with your daughters? Have I? We go. <laughs> no, we haven't. We had the conversation. <laughs> we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you, okay. <laughs> on a podcast, the rapper revealed he takes his daughter to the gynecologist every year on her birthday to confirm her hymen is still intact. He believed an intact hymen was an indication of virginity but medical experts say that's false. There's no such thing as a virginity test. You can examine someone and you can't tell for sure that they're a virgin or not based on a physical exam. Dr. Monica Norwick is an OBGYN at Park Nicollet Women's Center. She says the hymen isn't an accurate gauge to show if someone has had intercourse. A variety of variables can stretch or change the hymen. Is it possible for someone's hymen to not be intact and they are a virgin? Very possible, um, just from using tampons or just from maturity, um, athletics, injuries. T.I. admitted the doctor told him the same thing Dr. Norwick told us. His response? I said, look, doc, <laughs> she don't ride no horses, she don't ride no bike, she don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my results. Oh, Expeditiously. <laughs> On social media, a range of negative responses. People upset with the female host of the podcast for laughing. Others saying the rapper invaded his daughter's privacy and has chosen the wrong path to talk about sex. So what is the best way? The best way is being open with your child so that they feel like there can be a two-way street in conversation and talk to your child so that you're open with your child and that they can feel comfortable talking to you about those issues. Well, I talk about like the diseases and I tell all the young girls, so many people will say they love you to sleep with you and others sleep with people to feel wanted. What if dads are saying or other parents see it 
through the lens of he was just trying to be involved and active mm -hmm. in his daughter's life. He doesn't want her to get a disease or right. become a teen uh, mother. Right. So then you would hope that he would bring his daughter in and come into the clinic and say, I just want my daughter to be educated. I want to make sure she's safe and talk to the provider and then say, now I'm going to step out and let my daughter have this conversation so that she knows that I'm caring and I'm supportive and trying to protect her. In the United States, parents no longer have the right to see a child's medical records after they turn 18. If so, they will need permission to discuss diagnoses and treatment with a doctor or a medical provider. T.I., in that podcast, he said he also had his daughter sign papers allowing him to see. So here's my question for you. Would we be having this same conversation tonight if a mom did the same thing as T.I.? Let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. You guys also saw what Amnesty International had to say. So like I said on Instagram, there's nothing okay about this, especially with the blatant hypocrisy concerning how he treats his son versus his daughter. It's one thing to encourage your children. You should encourage your children, male and female, to hold on to their virginities, to give it away to somebody special, somebody who's worthy. But it should never get to the point where you're making them feel so uncomfortable that you have to go with them to the gynecologist's office to demand that the doctor let you know if that person is a virgin or not. And then to repeat that in public, T.I. totally dropped the ball on this. This is not about parenting. This is about him being misogynistic, overbearing, and basically embarrassing his child who has done nothing wrong in this situation, okay? This is just really, really sad. So anyways, y'all, I don't want to make this video too long. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning T.I. and the backlash that he's receiving from all over the world concerning what he basically blasted out there on this podcast. How do you feel about T.I. doing that to his daughter? Obviously, it's true because the daughter is now confirming it by liking statuses, blasting T.I. And then how do you feel about the two women who sat there and kiki and laughed like that was okay, only to then turn around and apologize? But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Don't forget to share the video. But most importantly, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning and T.I. basically blasting Deja and all the backlash that he's getting. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.